Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Talk and Tech Unbox in today's video we will see how you can easily migrate a unify product application running on the cloud kitchen 2 plus to the unify product application running on UDM Pro so in this video we will see a step by step guide how you can move your unify product application from cloud kitchen 2 plus to the UDM Pro this is the hard drive bay of the udm pro as you can see i have put the one of my spare hard drive to run the unify product to remove the hard drive bay you have to push it after that you have to place the hard drive bay on that uh, given space and you have to press it after pressing it it will initialize the hard drive and see if it's good or not so this is how you can put the hard drive on the UDM Pro and you have to push that after that if it is successfully placed on that hard drive bay uh, the LED on the hard drive will be blinking white and it will go stable white so you can see here it is blinking now so right now it is initializing hard drive which means uh, it is uh, checking the hard drive is it good or not to process further so after that we will check on the unify app if that hard drive is good or not so it says your hard drive is fully compatible and ready for use so i will just click on that and proceed and then i will go to the settings and check under the consoles and i will start the unify protect app so as of now it is just running the unify network app after adding the hard drive uh, I can just start the Unify Protect app on the UDM Pro. To that, uh, to start that application, you have to go to the settings console and you have to start the Protect app. Once it is started, you have to wait for it some time and then you can add the, I mean, the migrate from the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, the Unify Protect to the UDM Pro. So it is starting now we will see on the lcm screen what the status says so it will be showing up that unify product is running as you can see here the motion events there is cameras count and everything shows up here so the unify product is up now so now we have to just go to the cloud key gen 2 plus and migrate the unify product from the cloud key gen 2 plus to the UDM Pro and similarly you can check the hard drive status the disk says good HDD and check the model numbers what's the size temperature and everything if you get anything something wrong on the disk it will show up into the display here 1.3 inch screen so everything is working fine so after connecting the hard drive on the UDM Pro you have to start the unify protect migration for that you have to access the cloud key gen 2 plus protect application and go to the settings of the protect settings system and you have to download the migration file once you download the migration file you have to import that file on the udm pro unify protect application so you have to access the unify protect on the udm pro go to the settings system and you have to import a file after you import the file the unify protect will be offline for a moment and it will take some time to get online so you have to wait so the protect is online now so all you need to do is to stop the unify protect application on the cloud key gen 2 plus once you stop the unify protect application on the cloud key gen 2 plus the camera will be online on the udm pro as you see now it is still offline so now you have to go to the udm pro i mean go to the cloud key gen 2 plus unify protect application and you have to so you are into the system setting of the uh, cloud key gen 2 plus you see the application of unify protect click on that and stop the unify protect application 
and it is getting stopped now so now you can go back to the UDM Pro and wait for the camera to show online if I protect is still learning so it is now online so it will be offline as long as you don't stop the Unify Protect application on the cloud region. Once you stop that application, it will start running on the UDM Pro Unify Protect application. So this is how you can migrate a Unify Protect from one Unify console to the other. So in this case, I was, I was running the cloud key gen 2 plus as a Unify Protect. So I have migrated to the uh, UDM Pro with the hard drive bay I have added. So this is how you can migrate a from Cloud Gen 2 Plus to the Unify. So as you can see here on the L 1.3 LCM screen, it says one camera is connected and I can disconnect the Cloud Gen 2 Plus from the network. And even you can check the motion events everything also you can check the unify protect from where version also in this only thing you will miss the previous events logs like you did a migration from the cloud kitchen 2 plus to the udm pro so i think that process will be a very easy to go through and i hope you understand the process so i think that's it for the today's video i hope you will like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye